Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss 001 video. And today, we are back in X-Plane. Finally, we are in X-Plane every day. It doesn't even matter. Let's just begin with the video. Now, I got a lot of video suggestions. And one of the most suggested topic of video is actually landing planes inverted. You know what? Let's just satisfy this request and, you know, land some planes inverted. Let's go. Now, we are in the Cirrus jet. I really like the Cirrus jet. It's a great plane. Let's just die. Right. Damn, this is the weirdest intro that I've had in a while. Obviously, we won't need gear since we are going to land on our roof. That kind of makes sense. Let's just make sure that we have some kind of stable speed. 120 knots is obviously quite a lot because, yeah, you'll see what, what's going to happen. Now, the problem about flying inverted in uh, pretty much every plane is that um, the engine will die or the engines because of gravity. You know, the oil pressure system will die and therefore the engine will shut off. Now, yes, as uh, I've said, we have no engines and we are going to die. Now, let's just, you know, try landing as smoothly as possible and we are genuinely dead as smoothly as possible no we're not we're not we're not dead this actually worked out didn't it we literally did not crash this plane is still alive that was a very uh short run uh, wasn't it hello swiss oh no the aliens are back jesus christ it's even scarier from the outside Let's just try some other casual planes, shall we? Now, the next plane that we're gonna try is the Challenger 300. Uh, you know, this is a lot bigger than the Cirrus jet. Now, again, we should kind of have some speed. Let's go for 180 knots. That should be fine. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oof. Yeah, you know, that, that's kind of all that is to it. <laughs> it looks really cool, doesn't it? Boom. Now, how about a 737? I'm not quite sure about this. So, you know, the Cirrus jet had an advantage because that one doesn't even have, like, a vertical stabilizer. Now, we are in quite a bigger aircraft. Let's try this. Let's try to somehow settle this down, shall we? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, I didn't expect anything else. <laughs> now, how about a 747? You know, the 747, shall we? Oh my god! Now we have spawned to the 747 that has rocket engines. How did I do that? Oh Jesus. Have I mentioned that you should follow me on Instagram? No, let's go ahead and turn. Somehow. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Well. That was not too successful, was it? Now, I think we should actually do this in GTA Online. Right, so now we are in GTA Online. Let's go to the airport, shall we? So now we are in a car that I totally own on our way to a very special plane of mine. Shoot. Right, so down here is the Avenger, Avenger of, of whatever. This is uh, quite a special one, to say the least. Now, let's go to Sandy Shores Airport, and let's land this plane upside down already. Now, the problem is that we have quite large engine blades. Gonna, yeah, this is not gonna go well. Right, so we are upside down. Let's not die. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's uh, step out of the plane. Hmm. I've seen worse landings, you know. Now, here we have a Cessna 172. Let's land that one as well, shall we? Oh, oh god. Okay, so we uh, struck the vertical stabilizer there, but... Oh, 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 touchdown. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah, we had a fence there. But no, that was actually Stonewall. But actually, that was kind of successful, wasn't it? Yeah, no. Now, how about a bigger jet? Now, this is the Luxor Deluxe. This is the most expensive airplane that you can buy. Not too affordable, I guess. Right, let's put gear up and uh, try this. No, we have... Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I keep pressing the wrong button. That's not good. All right, so now I have spawned the Miljet. Now, this is kind of a mix out of the CRJ200 and CRJ600. Does that even exist? I don't know. It's a bigger CRJ200, I guess. Landing upside down. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Now, here we have the Vellum, which is kind of a smaller PC-12 or something. Okay, let's try it. Let's try. Let's try the P996 laser, because that one's at least not slow, I get. And that one is able to perfectly fly inverted, so it might be able to perfectly land inverted. Yep, you can always go around. We should do that. So maybe what's the conclusion out of this video? Yeah. You can't. 
You just can't. It's just impossible. All right, Cessna. Let's try it once again. This was the first plane to not explode immediately. Yeah, physics are totally accurate in this one. As always. I have jumped out again. How did this... Yeah, keyboard control totally sucks. Like... Genuinely. Now, when we get to touchdown successfully, we have to jump out really, really quickly because that's pretty much the only way to survive. Okay, let's do this. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Let's jump out right now. There we go. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. To conclude this, it is totally not possible to land upside down, and there is totally no reason to do that either, but I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night.